we end up with the difference between the mass market, which is what most people think of when they think of marketing. Hustle and yelling and advertising and promotion and spam and hustle. I mentioned hustle twice on purpose. To sell average stuff to average people. Or the smallest viable audience. The smallest viable audience is that group of people who would miss you if you are gone. That group of people who care enough about what is being made, whether it's a service or a product or someone running for office or a change that people seek to make. That group of people, it doesn't have to be very many, but they have to care. They live somewhere on that long tail. My friend Kevin Kelly describes the idea of 1,000 true fans. 1,000 people would be enough. If there are 1,000 people who would send money in when a new product is announced, sight unseen, who would travel across Seoul to go see someone when they come to town, who will tell their friends, who will be supportive, 1,000 is enough to support an independent creator. True fans are hard to find if you make average stuff for average people. So one of the examples I use a lot is my friend Lionel Poulain, a tiny bakery on Rue de Cherche Midi in Paris. They don't make baguette. They don't make all the traditional French patisserie. They make a magical boule, a loaf of bread this big, a miche. And people fly from all over the world, from thousands of miles, to wait in line to buy a loaf of this bread. Two thirds of the fancy restaurants in Paris serve Apollonia's bread. What did Lionel and then Apollonia do to create this item? Well, the first thing they did is they didn't do what everybody else did. The second thing they did is they made something specific. Not something average, not something normal, but something specific for the kind of people who want something like this. These steps open the door for permission. If I get an email from the Poulain Bakery, I open it because they're not hustling me and they're not hassling me. It's for me. It's about me. It's about something I care about. I live thousands of miles away and I can root for them. And so what we each have the chance to do is to make things better by making better things. That the good news about the future of marketing is it is not about strip mining your attention. It is not about stealing your attention when you don't want to offer it. It is about treasuring it. It is about earning trust. It is about resisting the idea of the race to the bottom and instead leaning into the possibility that we could race to the top.